Hey guys, my name is Doug with infotainment.com. Today we're working on the 2019 and up new body Ram heavy duty truck. That's the 2500 through the 5500 series. Today I'm gonna to show you guys an awesome new upgrade that we carry on our website for sale. This is the factory remote start kit, 100% factory through Mopar. Now the good news with the Ram heavy duty, a lot of you are actually pre-wired for remote start. That makes this installation very, very easy. Even if it's not pre-wired, it is still easy. So let me explain. If your latch for your hood has something plugged into it here on the passenger side, you are pre-wired for remote start. It makes this process a lot easier. If you're not pre-wired, if there's not a plug, something plugged into here, then you will need to route this wiring which I will demonstrate in another video how to do that. Um, in this particular case, the truck that we're working in is pre-wired, so it's just gonna make the process a lot easier. Now, the great part about the infotainment.com kit, it also includes the ability to lower your tailgate with your remote. So it will include this dampener for your tailgate. So all you'll have to do is just press the button twice on your key fob and it will actually slowly lower your tailgate. It's an awesome feature. Lastly, after we um, install the kit, we're going to run the OBD Genie Programmer. Now what this will do is it will program your vehicle's body control module to enable remote start. The very last step after you do that is you have to get the fobs programmed. Now you have two options when it comes to programming your key fobs. Number one, you can go to your local dealer and have them just program your key fobs. That's all you need them to do. Or number two, you can find a locksmith in town that will come to you and easily just program these fobs. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna call a local locksmith right here in Orlando, and we're gonna have them come program our fobs so we don't have to go to the dealer for anything. So let's get started. I'm gonna show you guys how to do this. All right guys, we already determined in this particular truck that it is pre-wired for remote start, which makes it a little bit easier. Those of you who are not pre-wired, check out in the description of this video a link to show you how to install it. But in this particular case, it's gonna be really easy. We're going to install the tailgate dampener in the rear of the truck. We're going to program the truck with the OBD Genie tool, which will program the vehicle's BCM through the OBD2 port for factory remote start. Lastly, all we'll need to do is either get a local locksmith or a local FCA dealer just to program two key fobs. So it's that easy, guys. Let me show you how to do it. All right, now to install the tailgate dampener, it's very easy. Basically, there's two Torx T25 screws that hold your tail light in, so you just remove those two screws. Now that the screws are removed, just pull back and go ahead and disconnect your connector. Okay, so what we're gonna wanna do now is we wanna install the dampener. You'll see two pegs. You have an upper peg here, and down there is the lower peg. So literally, you're just gonna slide this in and snap it into place. All right, so if you go underneath the truck, you can pop in the lower portion back here. You might have to pull down on the shock a little bit, and then it'll pop right into the lower peg. All right, now we can reinstall our tail light. So we're gonna slide it into the two pegs on the side first. Then we can reinstall our two Torx T25 screws. All right, we have our tailgate dampener installed. As you can see, it was very easy to do. Now all we have to do is roll a little bit of footage which shows you guys how to use the OBD Genie tool and the security gateway module bypass device to program your vehicle for factory remote start. So we'll roll that footage now. 
All right, guys, I'm gonna show you how to run the OBD Genie programmer in the 2019 and up heavy duty Ram truck. Now, in order to run the Genie programmer to enable the option that you're looking for, you also have to install temporarily a security gateway module bypass. Now, this is just installs temporarily just to allow you to program the vehicle's body control module for the specific feature you're looking to enable. Now, the security gateway module is located behind the speedometer, so I'm gonna show you guys how to get to that. It's not as hard as it sounds. Um, the whole process, including the programming and, and reassembling, takes about 15 to 20 minutes. So let's get started. You notice it gives you a little bit of room here. All we have to do now is pull on this little panel here, just enough to loosen it up a little bit. Now what we're gonna do is pull out the uh, speedometer bezel here. So what you're gonna wanna do is on the lip of the bezel here, you can put your pry tool in or a regular screwdriver. You're just gonna wanna pry down on it to release the clips. Then just pull it out. You notice it just has retaining clips. There's no screws that hold that bezel in. So um, on, the, on the right side of your speedometer, you're gonna have the, the little part that you popped out earlier. You don't have to disconnect this, just kind of set it off to the side. Same thing on the other side, just pop that off. Set it, set it off. Now you're gonna notice two seven millimeter screws on this instrument uh, or this um, steering column panel. So you're gonna go ahead and, and remove those two screws. I'd like to go ahead and put the column down a little bit, but basically you just pop this out. And then you'll notice two lower screws on the actual speedometer itself, and then two screws at the top. So go ahead and remove those four. All right, now that all of our screws are out, we can simply just pull the cluster out, flip it upside down, and just temporarily disconnect it. Behind the speedometer cluster is where the security gateway module is located. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna disconnect those two connectors that are in the side of that module. These two connectors here will simply just plug into our bypass device. We can just set it back here. We can go ahead and install our cluster. We're just gonna set the cluster back in place. We're not gonna actually screw it in. We're just gonna set it back in place. Now at this particular point, now that the security gateway module bypass is installed, now we can run our OBD Genie programmer in the OBD2 port. All we have to do is put the vehicle in the run position um, and then we can go ahead and plug it in. It takes about 30 seconds, you'll see a green light illuminate and then once um, the green light comes on, you know you're all done. All right, what we're gonna do is go ahead and put the vehicle in the run position and we'll go ahead and plug in our Genie programmer You'll see a series of lights. As soon as you get the solid green light, you can go ahead and unplug it and won't be needed anymore. All right, we now have the solid green light so we can go ahead and disconnect it. You'll also notice that your speedometer cluster and your infotainment system will reset as well. All right, guys, we went ahead and turned the truck off. Um, now all we have to do is just um, remove the um, bypass device, plug those two cables back into the security gateway module, and just reassemble everything. So as you can see, very easy to do. We've been in here for maybe 12 minutes. Um, so what we're gonna do now is just kind of put it all back.
All right, we're gonna go ahead and put this closeout panel in. You'll notice how it kind of has this lip here. You're gonna wanna stick that in and then pop it into place. Um, the other side is the same way where the ignition switch is. All right, now when you install the uh, speedometer bezel, you're gonna wanna clip in the bottom first and then slide the top back and it'll pop back into place. The very last step after you do that is you have to get the FOBS program. You can find a locksmith in town that will come to you and easily just program these FOBS. All right, guys, our fobs are now programmed by the locksmith. So now we're ready to try this out. So we went ahead and programmed the fobs. We went ahead and put in the OBD Genie programmer. We installed the tailgate shock. So now I'm gonna demonstrate how the, it lowers the tailgate. Press the button twice. And just like that, it lowers your tailgate. Really easy. If you've got your hands full coming out of the hardware store, double press that button. It helps you load nice and easily. The other thing, obviously, super important, remote start. If it's cold, if it's hot, you're gonna want to remote start your truck. Press the button twice and your truck will start. All right, guys, as you can see, very easy to install factory remote start with the power tailgate release. Really, really convenient feature. Those of you who live up north or in the south even, you're gonna love this feature, 100% factory. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Come check us out at infotainment.com.